Hey Fox Traders, Israel Kimmin here from VintageEducation.com and welcome to this edition, this training session that I'm basically going to be doing for you today. Now this is a really important training session today. So um, it's really interesting because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to talk about, um, I'm going to tell you a story basically about um, something that happened to me previously. And at the same time, I'm going to use a, a recent example from one of my students basically to basically relay this point to you. Now it's interesting because in the Forex markets, when you think about um, being successful, um, think about you've got winning trades, you've got losing trades. I 100% can't guarantee where you are right now in your predicament, but I can guarantee that if you're interested in the Forex markets, the one goal you have is to obviously learn to get some sort of consistency. Am I right? Exactly. So one of the things I want to cover in today's thing, it might not be the most, um, it might not be the longest training, but it's really, really going to be effective. And that's the thing that I do have in education. I'm really focused on efficiency. Um, I don't like to waste loads of time. I'll just literally tell you one thing. If you do it, um, you'll get the results. If you don't do it, like most people, then you're not going to get the results. You might even think you've heard this before or anything like that, but, um, Money is made in Forex in action, okay? You can do all the analysis you want in the world and if you don't actually take the trade, then whether it goes off straight to where your target was or it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. You have to be in the market. So make sure that by the end of this training, you're ready to literally implement what I'm actually really talking about. So obviously you can see me now. At the same time, um, I'm gonna be showing you my laptop screen as well, um, because we're gonna to have to talk about charts a little bit to basically break down some of this stuff. But like I said, make sure you take action with what I'm gonna say, because ultimately there's no point, okay? Um, these things I'm teaching you are very valuable, and at the same time, you're not gonna understand it fully unless you do it. And once you start doing it, then you start realizing it, all right? So the whole essence of this training this month is all about the two sides to the forex markets now most people get carried away with one the first side which is offense okay which is winning um winning trades but obviously at the same time you have losing trade as well now um it's really interesting because personally i since i was a young boy i've really liked sports now um, my favorite sport growing up was soccer um as i got older a little bit um into my teens i started to like basketball and all that kind of stuff but just generally i'm a sports um person in general i don't mind what sport is most generally i'm gonna like those sports okay so just i'm saying all this to say um I want to use the example of sports for you to understand what I'm actually talking about. Because think about most sports today. Think about soccer, okay? Everyone gets excited about scoring the goal, but at the same time, there's a whole other side of the ball, um, which is defense, okay? Think about the bar about basketball, the NBA, or anywhere um, abroad. Everyone gets excited about the dunks and the alley oops and the three pointers and all that kind of stuff, but there's a defensive side, okay? Now, think about all of the great teams in all of these different sports american football as well okay i really enjoy american football and i think about all of these sports you've got great quarterbacks on offense but you've got tight ends or you've got defensive linemen all of that kind of stuff okay um i don't need to get into all the techn technical jargon and all that kind of stuff but you get the point okay all of the great teams in all of these different sports basketball football um soccer um american football whatever you want to you want to call it okay they may have been great offensively, but at the same time, they had great defense, okay? And if you wanna be great at Forex, if you wanna have Forex become your full-time income, what do you think you need to do? You need to be good at offense, obviously, but you need to be good at defense. And this training today, for this month, isn't necessarily, like I said, gonna be the most exciting. It's not gonna be shiny. Um, I don't, as you should know, I don't focus and waste time on shiny objects. I'm really focused and centered on what works and following okay um i could easily pitch you and just sell you on some crazy robot or whatever it is and that's going to do all the work for you um, because it's easy to sell a dream sell a lie but that's not what i'm about i want to sell to you what works okay and part of that is defense okay so it's really interesting because um just before i get into the the brunt of this training okay for this month's edition um i want to basically tell you how i first realized this myself so it's years ago um you probably can relate to this story as well um, years ago starting the forex markets i started trading the forex markets and i'm taking those trades um winning some losing more obviously at the time no form of consistency and it's really interesting because um at, at, at some point in time 
as I'm trading and losing these trades, I'm asking myself, man, Israel, what am I doing? What are you doing that's just stopping you from making money? Okay. Now, at first, I didn't have the information in front of me to basically look at it. Okay. Um, so literally, I'm just firing blind. It's like I'm literally like feel. It's, I felt like I'm literally in a dark room, um, looking for a way out, but you don't know where the door is because there's no light. And that's how you might feel in in situation right now. You, you're you might have some winning trades, but you have a lot more losing trades, and you're just trying to figure out, okay, what am I doing? Where am I going? How am I going to get to where I need to go to? Now, when you think about it from that standpoint, I was in that situation. I'm wondering, okay, look, what do I need to do in order to be successful? And I'm looking at what's happened before. I know, okay. Because logically, I can think about and I've experienced it that I'm just continually having losing trades, okay, and I'm not having enough winning trades. So I I, I went on for a little bit and I said to myself, you know what? Um, most people you hear talking about professional traders. One of the big things you do hear constantly, and this is what I continue to hear: look, professional traders have a trading journal. Professional traders have a trading journal. They jot down all of their trading activity. So in my situation, I'd be losing, losing, didn't know exactly why I'm losing. I said, you know what, um, this is what I want to be. I want to be in a position where I can make money. So I said, you know what, let me start jotting down, okay, all of my trades. So as I begin to start taking, jotting down all these trades, I was still losing. That's the big part here. I'm still losing, but I'm gathering all of this data now. It's all jotted down in, in pretty much like a spreadsheet business plan template. And I'm looking at it and I'm saying to myself, okay. A week goes by, two weeks go by, three weeks go by, four weeks go by, six weeks, etc. A couple of months. And now I'm still in the same position, but the difference now is I had all of this information in front of me. And what I started to do is I started to look through all of the information and I started to realize, okay, I, I, tr I keep trading this currency too much and I keep losing on this particular, particular currency. These are the kind of things when you look at the data I, would, I was seeing, okay? Or I was trading too much in the nighttime. But when I traded in the daytime, um, my trades typically panned out. Or I'm taking too many trades because I'm hearing, oh, sell this or buy this from this website or this person, etc. So I could literally see now all of the different things that were stopping me from trading successfully. All of the things that were making me win, all of the things that were making me lose. So what do you think I did with that? Okay, just natural common sense said, you know what? Let me start focusing on what I'm doing right. Okay, what I've been doing right over this time, even though it's small, okay, it's not been enough for me to be successful, but let me just continue to focus on that. And let me try and avoid all of these patterns I found in my losing situations. Okay, and what is that? Firstly, I'm, I'm telling you and teaching you through this story how I realized how to play good defense, okay? Because now I was looking at what I had did wrong over the months and now it's just okay, you know what? That keeps losing me money. Let me stop doing that. That was defense. Okay, it wasn't offense. It wasn't me, okay, I'm taking this trade to win money. It was I'm stopping myself from taking this trade on this particular currency or I'm stopping myself from trading at this particular time. Can you see how just taking out? Because what happened is I didn't get to success yet. I didn't get where I was making consistent returns, but guess what happened? You probably guessed it. I started getting better, okay? Wasn't taking more winning trades, still had few winning trades, but what happened? I had cut off, let's say half of those bad trades I was taking, okay? Defense, I'd been defensive. And it's really interesting because when you think about it from that standpoint, I didn't do anything. I literally just stopped doing something and it put me in that position where I could now be better. So think about that. Let's say, for example, I was taking 50 trades. Let's say I had 15 winners, 35 losers. Okay. Merely by making this decision to say, you know what, this currency keeps losing me money. Trading at this time of the day keeps losing me money. So what did I say? I said, you know what, I'm going to stop trading at that time of the day. I'm going to stop trading that particular currency. And that literally just wiped off, let's say, about 20 trades. So now where are we? We're at 15 winners and 15 losers. Now, like I said, at the time, I wasn't the best trader back then. But just merely by defending, okay, as I'm trying to get you to understand in this situation, defending this, 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 myself from these bad habits, what happened? I got closer to the, to the mountain top, okay?
Now think about your Forex trading right now based on what I've said, okay? Imagine if you had all of the trades you've taken um, over the last month, two months, three months, whatever. Or maybe you're just entering into the markets. Think about if you decide, you know what, straight away, I'm just going to look at all of these um, trades I'm taking. I'm going to jot them down. And in about a month, in two months, I might not necessarily be successful yet, but I'm going to see exactly what's stopping me from making money and exactly what's making me, helping me make money. Okay. What are you going to do? Focus on the good. Wipe away the bad. That's good defense. Okay. So at the same time, you're playing good offense, learning to play good offense. At the same time, you're learning to play good defense. There's two sides to it. Okay. Because that's what you should do. Okay. And this is why it's really important. So um, I've talked a lot about one of the big things and I still today call it my main, my main, my most profitable Forex tool because I don't have many. It's my business plan template slash Forex tra trading journal. Now, if you want the same one that I use and the one that my students get as well, um, you can head on over to vintageeducation.com forward slash TJK. A link should pop up um, right now. You can see it for yourself and just go to that website. And you can obviously make a really a minuscule investment, really, in the bigger scheme of things. If you think about what, where I'm at now from where I was then, okay, um, a one time investment like that um, for you. Where would it put you in six months? Okay, so just think about it like that standpoint. So vintageeducation.com forward slash TJK, you can get that as well for literally a minuscule fee. So um, I've set the scene for you. I've shown you how I started to realize this. Now let's literally get into the bulk of what I want to talk to you about. And that's literally a recent situation that I had with one of my students. Okay, so um, a recent stu um, recently one of my students, Darren Johnson, okay, um, he's over in Australia. Um, and He's he's literally going through literally like a sort of funk basically, and it happens to all fox traders. It happens to him. It will happen to you. It happens to me as well. Okay. The difference is what we're we talking about today. Okay. Exactly. Learn to play good defense, and you put yourself in a position to even protect yourself even in a losing streak. Okay. So I begin to talk to him. He's messaging me, and maybe what I'll get is I'll I'll kind of show you some of the screenshots from the messages he sent me on Facebook. Okay, on the messenger. So now we're going to get into the charts. So what he basically says is he's he's like, okay, Israel. Okay, and let's look at the charts. So what he says, so what you can see here, you can see this is the Kiwi dollar. Okay, now he basically says, you know, I'm looking to take a long position from literally around this kind of price. Okay, I can't remember exactly what the price was. Uh, maybe it was about um, 74.15 or something like that. So he said he wants to take a long position from this particular region, okay? And obviously his whole mindset was that he's going to take a trade in this area and put a stop loss um, just below, okay? With a target up somewhere, okay? Now, I'm not going to go to the higher time frame and I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of how we trade, okay? Um, you, we'll find out more about it later. But what I basically said to him is... Um, I wouldn't take that trade. I was actually out at the time, but I said, you know what, I'm actually, when I get back, I'll take a look. And literally by the time I got back, it was literally at the price. Okay. So I literally messaged him quickly on Facebook and said, you know what, Darren, I wouldn't take that trade. You know why? Because firstly, I understand the situation you're in. Okay. When you're in a losing streak, um, when you want to get um, a winning trade, you're in a position where you're going to be saying to yourself, you're going to, you're going to do things even even as subtly that you wouldn't normally do okay because you're just searching and hoping for that winning trade but what you need to do is do the right thing play defense so literally i said to him look first and foremost you don't want to take this trade because um the market the long-term move on the kiwi dollar at, the, at this time is moving down okay so you want to put the odds in your favor as much as possible don't you okay so the best thing for you to do would be to take a sell position. I said to him, you know what? I wouldn't take a long position on this trade from that down there. What I'd like to do is take a, um, a potential short position if price can come back into this particular region. Okay, This region you can see here. I've highlighted it yellow. Um, I'll put a crosshair on as well so you can kind of see. Okay, So this is about 74, 65, 74 um, 70 region i said this is i'd rather take a short from this position now full disclosure um i didn't take this trade price didn't come to this particular level and it's it's okay because that's not the point of what i'm talking about today okay so what happened so 
we scroll we scroll across and look what happens okay things are looking good and then bang okay let's say for example he and and he said he wanted to get in let's make this black so he just said he wanted to get in around this price okay it was around here um i think it maybe it's a bit higher and he wants to put his stop loss okay obviously you'd put it at the time because it was before this you want to put it below this low at least okay let's make this red because we're talking about risk so this would have been his potential trade and his target would have been i guess somewhere up here okay now when you think about this what's actually really interesting is i said to him you know what don't take this trade the market's going the other way so why would you um in your current situation anyway trying to get a ring trade go against the grain okay so think about it so he didn't take the trade so look what happened um price would have came over more drop down so if he entered this trade he would have been stopped out firstly and foremost okay so he would have been stopped out of this trade he would have lost um two percent of his account and the two percent isn't the big issue here okay the way i've set my students up where i set myself up is if you lose it if you lose a trade it doesn't matter okay it's a really minuscule percentage of your your bigger trading account so that's not the issue the issue is he's trying to get back into um just a winning streak okay um great trading but you don't want to take these kind of trades you don't want to take trades that are likely the odds are against you you want to have trades the way the odds are in your favor why because that's going to put you in the best position to win this that's why a defense notice this why did i say you shouldn't take this trade because the long-term momentum on this particular currency as you can see even from this 50 minute chart is downwards okay so you want to take a trade inside that motion um think about this what do they say they say you want to ride the wave um, you don't want to, uh, when you're surfing, ride against the wave because you get knocked over. You want to, you want the wave to come in and you want to ride with it. Okay, why? Because it will give you the best streamlined motion. So look what happens. And this is what's really funny. Okay, so price went up, as you can see, and maybe at this time he might have been thinking, "Oh man, I should have taken this trade." Even if he wants to try and un um, con convince himself that he wouldn't have got stopped out here, but he probably would have. Okay, and then look what happens price decides to turn around and now we can kind of see we're going to just present where price is presently right now so and then price continues to drop now notice this so i messaged him and said to him look darren do you see what happened on the kiwi can you see why i told you you don't want to take this trade because the long-term movement is down so you want to find a trade going down now for me I wanted to take a sell position from this region. Now price didn't get to that region, so I didn't take a trade, and he didn't take a trade, and that's fine because what are we? Do We're not playing offense. We play defense first. Okay, what did I do in the start? I didn't say, okay, how can I become a better trader? Offense. I said, let me cut off this stuff that's not um, working for me. Defense. So the most important money in your trading account is the money you have already. It's not the money you're trying to make. Don't make that mistake. It's the money you have to already protect it. Protect and then grow. So I said to him, look, if you'd taken this trade, you would have pretty much you'd have been stopped out. But look what happens. Price pushed up. We're playing defense. We're not going to take a trade because we're looking for sell positions. And if price had got to this particular region up here, um, highlighted by this yellow box, then yes, I would have looked to take a sell position, but I didn't. So think about in the bigger scheme of things, what was the end result? What was the end result when I was doing this years ago? Well, I was getting better. I wasn't quite at profitability yet, but I was getting better. Think about your current situation right now. Are you getting better or are you getting worse? The more and more you, you go through these kind of trainings that I'm doing for you, you'll get better, obviously, if you take action. If you don't take action, you think, oh, I've heard this before, this doesn't make sense, you're not going to get the result so think about this he didn't win but what happened more importantly he did not lose okay because another time when he does this and he, he's playing defense into offense okay he's going to defend his his basket his goal um his um um touchdown area um his end zone but he's one time he's going to get a first down 
Okay, he's going to get a second down. Now he's got the ball to play offense. He's going to get a touchdown. He's going to score a basket. He's going to win a championship. He's going to score a goal. However you want to put it. And this is how you need to think about your Fox trading going forward. Okay. Um, learn to play defense. So number one, let's just recap. Okay. To wrap up the training. So number one, what did we do? Okay. First and foremost, I did years ago. I played defense by looking at all of my data, all of my trade activity and saying, okay, you know what? What is sucking my money? Immediately wipe that off, okay? Closer to success. Then what did I do next? Now you can focus on getting better trades. Offense, you scored a goal to win the game. You scored a basket to win the game. You throw the winning touchdown. See how that makes sense? So what did I tell Darren? You wanna get a winning trade, number one, don't trade in the opposite direction of the long-term momentum, trade with the tide, okay? Don't take a long position. What are we playing? We're playing defense. Okay. He defended his his trading account. Now let's set ourselves up for, set up set us, ourselves up for offense. This time he doesn't get in the trade. I didn't get in the trade, but what he hadn't lost any money. And that's the big thing here, okay? So when you're going forward, just think about this. Okay, think about okay, a great forex trader, a championship forex trader that you want to be plays defense and plays offense he plays them together or she plays them together we don't just say we're going to be offensive and just avoid defense we don't say we're just going to be defensive and avoid offense no we bring them together so that's the end of this edition for this month playing great offense and playing great defense in tandem i promise you if you do this if you take action on what i've said you're going to have a much better forex trading lifestyle and this is just one thing that you can focus on going forward to ensure um, you're successful so action steps and homework that i've got for you um, now going forward is look at your trading activity and start playing some defense start looking at the patterns if you haven't got any trading activity because you haven't been drawing it start doing it vintageeducation.com forward slash tjk go and get it um, and start jotting down start taking notes and start looking at the patterns of, of what's losing you money are you trading a particular currency too much which is just messing you up are you risking too much money maybe that's what it is um are you trading at the wrong time um are you using an indicator that's not working for you is someone feeding you bad information there's going to be loads of things you'll see from that from from this data and it will help you i promise you okay and then another thing you can do um start implementing it which is most importantly um don't just mess about okay now this is us um like i said this is a great lesson for you to learn this literally transformed my forex trading and along with the forex trading um journal business plan template so bear that in mind now um if this is great i'm sure this is probably going to help you i know that already if you take action what i want you to do is obviously um next month you should you're going to get something else which is going to help you again but at the same time what about day to day um i'm helping you month to month right now wouldn't you want me to help you day to day well if you do um what i think you should do is literally um attend my forex workshop okay um the forex workshop is going to go into some of this but in more detail with loads of different examples so if you want to learn um more about this um more about being successful um head on over and um, to the website you can see on screen um, and attend my Forex workshop. All the best of your Forex trading. Thanks and take care. And I'll see you in the next edition. Thanks and take care.